Uh, this is a G, but F and G, the side trim. You know, you got your hole and the lever for the for the swivels. So yeah, sixty sixty one. That's that. Here's another look at that. This is an H seat. On the seat backs, the chrome is the same. F, G, H, and early J's. See, this is a big, heavy casting. Yeah, it's got that characteristic groove in it. And they will not interchange side to side. There's actually a, a curve to them. And this is the seat base trim for the H. You can see it's got a a taper to it so they do not swap driver to passenger side and they are 62 only now this is the side trim piece used on 63 4 and 5 this would be uh, on 63, they use it on the driver and passenger. On 64, they use it only on the driver. Same for 65. Because in 64, you go to the passenger side recliner seat. And this is the trim that's used there. That's the slot for the release lever. And you see in 64, there is no foot trip lever. Here's a 65. You see the cutout. So all this fun started when I went to put the seat back, chrome, on the J. You see, this has a very different shape than the 62s. Well, it turns out, uh, this style was used on most of the J's. The early J's apparently have the 62 and earlier type style. Probably they were using up inventory. But this style, it's hard to find, although it was used, you know, on the 63 Sport and probably in uh, uh, Dodges, Plymouth. And there you see the, the bottom that was used for a few years. These are the pieces that are tough to find.